just last week in the news, or a couple days ago, um, it kind of made a bit of a big story about uh, somebody using their Tesla Model S for mining cryptocurrency, Bitcoin or something of the like. Personally, it was more of a, a, a kind of a tongue-in-cheek joke. Um, the person had uh, a mining rig in the trunk of their car and um, nothing was really connected or running. Um, I, I think it was just more of a joke, you know, when someone else suggested, oh, we should use the free power from the superchargers and the Tesla car to uh, mine for cryptocurrencies. Um, so that being said, um, I want to just talk about why it is such a stupid idea to try and mine cryptocurrencies using the supercharger network or other meth means of the Tesla vehicle, at least in the current iterations that we have of a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, maybe once we have, you know, a half megawatt battery packs, the tune might change, but at that point, I doubt we're going to have unlimited free supercharging on those vehicles. So let's just cover some things here. Uh, number one, you'd have to go charge up at a supercharger all the time. And this is going to be a two-part video. Part one is going to be why it's such a stupid idea. Part two is going to talk about what you would have to go through to actually be able to pull something like that off and even make it remotely profitable in some sort. Um, so, uh, number one, space. You don't have too much space in your vehicle to really set up a big mining rig. Um, and the amount of space that you have uh, to be able to mine Bitcoin or uh, Monero, which uh, Monero is more CPU based, uh, so you can get away with cheaper hardware. Um, the amount of space that you have in the car, it's, it's not enough. Um, at most, if you have your trunk full, um, you'd, you'd have enough hardware to mine roughly 600 US dollars worth of Bitcoin or, or Monero a month. And uh, then you also got to factor in cost of the vehicle. So basically what you're mining each month, if, if you don't get a depreciation or, or the ROI doesn't go down, or I'm saying that wrong, the value of the coin, cryptocurrency, doesn't go down, uh, you're basically making enough to pay your car bill. You're, so, yeah, you'll get your car for free, uh, or, or it pays for itself in a way. But that means if you're using all your power for mining currency, you don't have any power for driving, except, you know, from home to the supercharger, sit and wait two and a half hours, go home, or wait till your battery pack's drained, go back to the supercharger, charge it up again, wait two, two hours, and then, you know, keep repeating day after day. And don't forget that those are also cycles on your battery pack. So every time you do that and drain that pack, recharge, pack, drain, charge, drain, charge, your battery pack has less and less and less capacity. So you're going to have to keep doing it more frequently, more frequently, more frequently. Um, so then, of course, you got the cost of the actual hardware. Um, now, bit, Bitcoin, you're going to have more specialized rigs. Um, using uh, GPUs, you know, video cards, uh, they can uh, have a higher hash rate of for mining cryptocurrency, um, or something more simple like Monero. Uh, Monero is um, is more CPU based. It's more fair for the average person, easier for the average person to mine on their own rigs at home, their own computers, or even iPads, iPhones. My my iPhone right now, just for Schnips and giggles here is actually mining Monero right now, and uh, my hash rate uh, I'm at about six hashes a second. And since I I turned it on here and pulled up and plugged in on this J1772, I've already done about six thousand hashes, um, and that's actually pretty bad. You can even see that. Um, so that's that's really slow. That's about the rate that a 10-year-old uh, computer will do. Now, I have seen some reports of iPhone 7s getting about 60 hashes a second, which is actually not too bad. That's pretty. That's actually really good, considering the lower power consumption. So um, you could use iPhones, iPhone 7s or 
eight or whatnot, um, those probably will turn out some of the... I didn't say anything about Siri. Um, those would actually turn out some of the best hash rates, but the problem is, again, the cost of the hardware. You'd do better just not buying the phones at all. Um, maybe in a couple of years once the prices of the phones have come down, but at the same time, at that point, uh, the difficult level, difficulty level of mining the currency will have gone up. Which brought me to another idea, and which was to try and mine the cryptocurrency with the car itself using, well, we've got this nice computer center screen here. Uh, so I set up a web page and that link to the web page so you could try it out yourself on your own devices, not just the car. It won't work on the Tesla car. And the reason being is, and now this web page has incorporated into it a Monero mining client where basically, and that's what I'm using on the phone or even on my iPad. You can, can see it there somewhat. Um, now I got screenshots up. Take a screenshot for y'all. Um, and oops, blah blah. Um, now I'm actually got the same page loaded on the car here, and I, I spent two days trying to figure out a way to make it work on the center screen. Just, I mean, the 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 Tesla center screen computer is just so ridiculously slow and underpowered. Um, you're really not going to mine too much. Um, like iPad Mini One, um, this gets about one anywhere from 0.5 to one hash per second. iPhone six. Uh, oh, I'm at seven hashes a second now. They're success. Um, so this would be maybe one or two hashes a second for the computer screen on the car. Problem is Tesla blocks everything that could potentially run it. So Tesla blocks Java, and this is based off Java, uh, the, the, the web-based client. So can't do it. Tesla blocks Flash. Can't do it. Uh, I tried doing a HTML based, HTML5 based, because center screens will load HTML5. I, I just don't have the experience to be able to pull that off. Jason Hughes, if you're watching, maybe you could pull it off. Let me know. Uh, maybe I'll give you a call. Um, I'm sure a uh, jailbroken Tesla could do it, but once again, the hash rate is just so low. By the time you generate one Monero, one coin, or one Bitcoin, or whatever you're mining for, the the wear and tear on the hardware is just, especially a, a center screen on a car. These aren't cheap if you're out of warranty, and if you jailbreak it, uh, kiss your warranty. Bye bye. Um, it just it's just not going to happen. Now, say you were crazy enough to put uh, a big enough rig in the trunk of your car and, and you don't care about the actual feasibility of it at all. You just want to do it. How are you going to get the power for that from the battery pack to there? The most logical answer would be use of the DC to DC converter. So the converter that takes the high voltage battery pack, converts it to 12 volts uh, to charge the 12 volt auxiliary battery, which... Ooh, slick deals, nice. Uh, which then powers the auxiliary items in the car, your headlights, your center screen, dash screen, your seat heaters, um, your audio system, dome lights, you know. That's what all your 12 volts running off of is the 12 volt battery. Well, then you could then use a DC to AC converter, or power inverter, to convert that to power where you can plug in your um, your mining rig, or you can also draw some of it straight from the 12 volt socket here, or just have a 12 volt based power supply if you have a computer a laptop if you're using laptop computers. That brings up that uh, that will work that will actually work, but the problem is the DC conver DC to DC converter has a maximum output at this time of 600 watts. So that means it can convert and put a stream of 600 watt supply to whatever you're doing. You can't mine too much on 600 watts, not enough to make it worthwhile. And I even have, I even have a calculator here. 
that will calculate it out. Now the most logical and easiest thing to mine uh, with the cheapest hardware is going to be Monero. So we're going to go based on that. Now uh, they have a baseline here of approximately 500 hashes per second on a 200 watt uh, worth of power consumption. Which would, and based off of uh, if you're plugged into a uh, your regular outlet at home, if you're running this at home, at a national average of 12 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity, you would get in profit about $274 a year. That's off of 200 watts. Now remember, now if we throw all conversion efficiencies out the window. So the efficiency of the DC to DC converter converting the high voltage to the lower voltage, 12 volt, and then the inefficiency of the power inverter converting the 12 volt to 120 volt AC or 220 or 240 volt AC if you're in a, in a, in a 240 volt country. Um, and then you got the power supply on the computer Let's just throw that all out. We're just going to go best case, absolute, impossibly best case scenario. You got that 600 watt is going to be 100. Remember, best case scenario. If that 600 watts were 100% efficient for you to use, uh, going straight to mining. So let's double this, or triple it actually. So instead of 200 watts, let's make that the 600 watts. And so 600 watts, now we just, you know, now, now we have approximately 1,500 hashes per second. So, okay, come on. Trying to make the, uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Forgot about that little button there. You had to make the little keyboard disappear. Okay, so 1,500 hashes per second, and I'm going to pop screenshots of this stuff. Hey, what's going on? This website was not designed to work very well on an iPad. So we got screenshots of this. You guys, will, you're, you guys are already seeing it. So 1,500 hashes per second at 600 watts power. And remind, remember, once again, best case scenario for power usage with 100% efficiency at a cost of 12 cents national average. And once again, we're going on as if you were actually plugging in. Uh, you'd mine $848.40 a year. Now, of course, if you're plugging in on supercharger, you're paying nothing. So if you're paying nothing for power, 600 watts consumption rate, you're at $1,479.12 profit per year. And once again, that's also as long as Monero doesn't go down in value per coin. Uh, it has a potential of going up, way up, but um, it can also go down. It's kind of like the stock market, you know, currency exchanges. So, you would be making, for a 600 watt, you would be making about $121.57 per month. Not even coming close to making your car payment. Plus, you're drawing, you're sucking down huge amounts of power. Uh, maybe even potentially voiding the battery warranty on your car. Is it worth the hassle? No. The only way you could possibly make this worthwhile would be as if you could tap directly into the main high voltage battery pack. And at the, at the moment, it's very, very difficult to do without causing a ton of problems, which will bring us to part two of this video. But just hypothetically, uh, uh, 600 watts, let's just double it again. What would it take to at least make a car payment What's a car payment on a Tesla? Like, what, 700 a month? So, uh, let's say... 
got my handy dandy calculator here. So, uh, what would it take to get 700 per month? So let's let's change the hashing power. Let's say you got 10,000. Um, no, actually, that was a lot. Okay, nine. 9,000 hashes per second. So, 9,000 hashes per second would give you $729.41 per month profit. But what power consumption would that be? You would have 4.5 kilowatt. That's a lot of power. Which then brings one other major thought here. Where is all that mining heat going? That mining heat is all in your car. You would have to exhaust that out the car. Now, the most logical thing is to just turn on your vent and vent the car out or use the car's air conditioner. But guess what? Now you're using more power again. But once again, we're just gonna go based on best case scenario. So 4,500 watts. How much time would a uh, 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 100 kilowatt battery last? So we got 100 kilowatt hour battery divided by You'd get 22 hours, 22.22 hours, and that's going. That's if the 100 kilowatt battery is actually 100 kilowatt usable, no inefficiency at all, 100% efficiency. Uh, so you're not worrying about heat loss, uh, charging, conversions, anything like that. It, that's not even giving you any power to drive to supercharge or to charge back up. So the actual idea of using a car is absolutely nut case ludicrous. So um, here we go, 4,500. Hide that. A screenshot for you guys. So moving on to part two, how I would think you would have to do it to be able to pull it off, and it would be a full time freaking job just just doing this and it's still stupid let's move on to part two